Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Quinn jungle for season 12. She's a super fun, super strong off meta jungler who you can do a lot of cool stuff with similar to a Twitch jungle or even a Tristana jungle. Because of your range auto attacks, it lets you kite out melees really hard. Your E and your Q lets you kite out melee super hard. Plus monster camps, you can kite them out with your E and your Q. You should still avoid raptors until you're at least level three double buffs. After that, you can take them really whenever you want. We're gonna lay a ward down, make sure Lee Sin doesn't start in our jungle. We're gonna be starting on bot lane, but for the best leash possible, even if it's a blue buff, it's fine. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna start with our E to kite out the camp a bit better. Your E and your Q have a very similar cooldown. Q does a bit more damage. The uh, E's a little bit more useful for kiting. We may not get a leash, so I am very excited that we started E, because without leash, then uh, you're pretty screwed on Quinn. If you start, especially if you were to start W or Q, you'd be even worse off. Before you have your W, make sure you apply your passive naturally before you use an ability against the monster. That way you don't bury your passive. This thing is about to reset. Yeah, it almost reset there. That was a really weird leash. My teammates were trying to do a cheese and I guess they figured out that enemies weren't gonna come so they just leashed for me instead. Your Q does cancel the monster's uh, autos against you so you can time that appropriately. So auto auto into Q. Against, with your E, you're usually just gonna use it whenever, uh, whenever it's just an auto into E reset or when the, once the monster is in range to hit you with its auto. Against Gromp, it can pretty much always hit you though since Gromp has ranged autos as well. It's not quite as long as yours. I'll show you what I mean against red buff. Like we can auto, auto, Q, auto, auto, E, auto. Make sure you're moving between each auto attack otherwise you'll be taking a lot more damage. So we get off our passive, get our Q down. Cancel his auto with our E. He still hasn't hit us yet. I think we've applied our passive four times now. Auto attack E, and we still have our smite. So we're full health, double refill, three minute mark. That's what you want to try to aim for. Three minute mark, done, finish your three clears, full HP. We should be able to invade Lee Sin and kill him. He's trying to walk into me. This isn't gonna turn out well for him though. He held on to his Q forever. It almost panned out for him because if he had missed his Q, he would have gotten off one less auto attack and uh, it would have been really bad for him. Cause he has to stand still and he would have missed cause I was juking like crazy. So that was actually really good of him to hold on to it for that long. And he still ended up landing it. He lost cause I had the ignite advantage though. I think Kata could maybe go for that. I don't know. I gotta leave though. I'm out of health. She should. I don't know. Lee Sin's gonna be right there though. That's just the thing. She's in a bit of a tough spot. I'm only gonna stay because I want a bit more gold. Your Q also does have some useful AoE on it to help you kill your multi monster camps. Kata got the kill, then she died. We didn't get the assist for it. That kind of sucks. Auto attack Eevee. E reset and yeah I think we should just reset at this point if I had more health I'd go fight Lee Sin on Scuttle since I have red buff advantage but as is it's gonna be a really bad fight plus he has bot lane priority that rotate on me quicker we have our tier 2 boots it's one of your best first backs on Quince since she is a very gank heavy jungler plus we're running celerity water walking in our secondary runes primary tree you've got pressy attack triumph alacrity and coup de grace your other rune options for your keystone, you can go lethal tempo. The enemy team is super tanky. Hellblades is good if you're focused around uh, just being bursty. Hellblades is just a new kind of neutral rune to take on Quinn. Once our uh, W ends, then we'll use an ability again to get its attack speed back. We go ahead and max our W first. So you see as our W fades, we actually held on to our Q because this, our W, our passive was about to come up naturally. So you don't always have to refresh your W by using an ability. Sometimes you can wait for your passive to come up if it's about to be up. 
TF doesn't have any boots. We could probably kill him here. Lock in on him with Sweet Braum, Lee Sin's bot side. I know we can chase him down here. Use our W to search him out. I can, I know I can knock him out of that. Oh, this is not great. He doesn't have his Q. We do have tier twos. He tried to uh, Q smite it. It actually almost worked for him. Hit him with our E in the auto. He's a goner. I accidentally put a point in my Q there. That was weird. I'm glad Katis still got the kill on their mid laner. That was actually really well played by Lee Sen. That Q smite, I was just a little uh, a little quicker than he was with the jukes. He actually caught me off guard, the guard there. I, I, I didn't dodge that logically. It was just like kind of muscle memory. wasn't a logical juke all right we need to reset <laughs> we're really low on health first item rush highly recommend going for uh shield bow shield bow is really really good you're, you normally don't want to rush life still as your first item after your tier two boots because your jungle item already gives you a bunch of omni vamp versus jungle monsters omni vamp is healing from all damage output you do against monsters in this case, since it's only Omnivamp first jungle monster, it's not just Omnivamp. Hit it twice. Kite it back, auto attack in the E. Still have our smite. Don't know where Lee Sin is. He might threaten something on us. We have Ignite though, so we'll see. It's probably just in his jungle farming. Our pass is about to come up. And with our E. He gets to us, then we hit him with Q. Now he can't auto. We kite back the other way. Passes back up. So this whole time we've been on our attack speed steroid from W. We only have two points in it though, because I accidentally put a point in my Q when I was kiting for my life against Lee Sin. W is about to end, so we use our ability on the monster. There's only about two seconds during me taking this camp where we didn't have the bonus attack speed. If you're ever moving farther than like uh, three Lux Qs, you should go into your R. And when you're farming your camps against champions, you should always try to be in your R because you do get a bit of extra damage, which is really nice to have. But if you're just farming your own camps, if you're not three Lux Qs away, you don't have to go into bird form because it does have that channel duration. So if it's only like a Lux Q away, there's really no point of going into bird form, in my opinion. I'll let him have it since he started. It'd be rude for me to take it. Walk in on him. We'll hit him with an auto attack. Use our E since it has more range. We're going to hold on to E. Use it as a dash. Auto attack E. He didn't have flash. If he, if I, if he still had flash, we would have been best off holding on to our E to use it as a gap closer. Once I got to use it as an auto attack resetter slash passive and W reapplier. Draven's underneath the turret. That's a bad spot for him to be. That was a beautiful setup by our bot lane. I don't really want any of these minions. I just want to get 80% of the XP. We all get 80% together. I guess since there's three of us, we all get like 70%. Something like that. I'll give all the gold away. Should, you should really should give your laners the gold so they don't fall behind to their opponents. And you may say, well, aren't you putting your laners behind in XP? No, because the enemy laners are missing a bunch of XP from minions dying, so my laners are still heading to XP. I have Ignite. Oh, this is warded. Don't know where the least Sin is. TF's really low. Kata destroyed him because Kata's very balanced champ. My smite's up. Plant a Q in the middle of those. Remember, your Q is AoE damage. It's very useful against uh, the Raptor camp and Krug camp in particular in terms of its AoE aspect. I'm a little timid to start dragging. I don't want to get rotated on the enemy bot lane. I get rotated on a lot when I go for stuff like that. 
auto attack e reset i think gromp's only auto just once so far that's its second auto with proper q timings and e timings it's really hard for camps to get a lot of damage on you Ooh, thresh just took some solid damage can they're taking forever to get back the lane i'm gonna go for tf bush that the ward can't see me if i hook the wall we can come up behind him he doesn't know i'm here we hit one auto attack e reset i wanted to push him into katarina since i was in a really good spot behind him hit him with our red smite he just killed himself it was kind of worth it since he got shut down it's also kind of bad because now cat is going to get turret plates so it's hard to say if it was really worth red smite kept us alive for a pretty long time once we have shield bow he won't be able to burst us or do anything like that and he bought only just got a couple of kills draven has life still he did just blow his shield bow though thresh is really low i probably can't kill him he's gonna get too much health back by the time i get there tf ults on the kata he can't kill her with his items there's no way kata has this she even has cannon minion blasting him wow 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 <laughs> i can't believe he actually won that Run out in bird form, get down as many autos as you can once you're out, out of the range of your autos and you hit him with an E. We, we've in a queue in between autos. Waiting for him to stun card a minion or something. Oh, I think he just blue carded. He's dead. And remember, your Q does have more range than your autos, so you can kind of weave it in towards the end of your combo. If you feel like they're going to fade out of your auto attack range, it's pretty good. Lee Sin might be in my jungle, so we're going to use our W to scout it. I want to get in a safer spot before I do, like right here. I didn't want to blind run into a bush and then do it, because like if he's in that bush, it's not really helping me. Our W is giving us 60% attack speed now. It's really, really good. W just faded off, so we use our E. Our E's gonna fade. Now it passes back up anyways. And when I say fade, I'm talking about the W passive whenever you your W passive kicks in whenever you apply Quinn's passive. Alright, bird time. We gotta get that Draven. Let's crank his low key int in a bit. He's AP, so I guess he thought he could one shot him. Got a red smite on him, got him with bird. Oh my god. I took so much damage from Thresh. And that fight, Thresh did more damage to me than TF did. The weird thing about it is I never ran into the Thresh box, so I don't know why it counted the damage. I really didn't think I ran into the wall. I was in the middle the whole time. But I felt it. Like right when he casted R, I felt the damage connect, even though I didn't touch the wall. It's kind of weird. Guess I'll have to go back and watch that. Maybe I'm delusional, but from my perspective, I didn't walk into it. It just did the damage instantly, even though I didn't touch it. Finally got our shield bow. At this point, you want to go for collector because you want to get IE third item 90% of the time. IE gives you so much damage on Quinn. With how much attack speed you get from your passive, you want, want to have as much AD as possible. Lee Sin doesn't really have an item yet. We can take advantage of that. I, only reason I didn't attack Lee Sin was because my uh, Q was on a cooldown. I figured we might be able to get a two for one here. Shen's kind of big. Oh, Lee Sin got away. This guy's actually so slippery. I just lost my movement speed. I might die here from TF. Yeah, TF's here. Oh, he just flashed. It's kind of funny. Might have been able to turn on him, realistically. Since I had shield bow. He scared me, though. He's going for his blue buff. This Lee Sin is. He already burned his smite to heal off of it. Got him. I had red smite and ignite. He didn't really have much of a chance there. 
We gotta leave though, because they're top laner. I don't know where she is. Plus, TF's kind of fed in a weird way. I don't know how, but he is. <laughs> He's doing a lot of damage. I'll have to check the patch notes. I haven't looked at them for a while. Maybe he got buffed or something. I'm seeing a lot of TF lately. We came over here after a while. That way he most likely wouldn't be here. All right, they know I'm here because TFR, but he went mid. It's good for me. Nice cannon stun. Gets the kill on Blitz. I'm gonna speed up away off that auto attack because my passive. Let me see Lee Sin's there. He's got Gore Drinker now. He's pretty strong. Yeah, Cat is gonna have to jump to me, dude. Did she not? What? What happened there? Auto attack Q reset. Auto attack E reset. He's dead. Absolutely shredded. Rest in pieces, Lisa. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, oh my God. Oh my god, Draven did so much damage. He has more items than me. That freaking hurt. Nice. That's actually big. Oh my god, that thresh damage. I didn't think you could finish me because I had the life steal. I thought I could uh, it's like survive his burst and then auto him. He actually chunked though. Q200 damage, Flay 261, and that's even with me resisting like 25%. Jeez Louise, Thresh damage is no joke. What a nutty champ. Thresh really is just a better version of Blitzcrank. Thresh hook is more CC. His flay is AoE CC. And he has the lantern and plus AoE R. Like, Blitzcrank R CC honestly isn't that good compared to Thresh box. Thresh box is way better. Because the slow lasts longer than the Blitzcrank silence does. It's like situationally it's stronger the thresh boxes just a better champion they've had to nerf blitzcrank so much over the seasons to where he's as a champion he's really not that great and the earlier seasons like season three season four blitzcrank speed up didn't slow him down when it was over like he could use it to move around the map but now it's like a slow at the end so it's not even that good to really move around with Hold on to my E. I don't need to use it here. Shed should have honestly just went for that. Nice. I think my R coming out of my R is what I actually secured the kill there. Your R does a bit of damage on Quinn. Got it. We used our W to give us vision, even though he's entering bush. W gives you instant vision. It's like frame for frame. It's very strong. There's only Kel and Thresh alive. Draven just spawned. Draven, ooh. I gotta get out of here, yeah. Draven's scaring me. The threat of Draven being here was too high for me to want to stay for that. I hope myself did these. Our Q AoE is so strong against these Raptors now. If this is warded, it's not. Oh, come on, Kale. Don't do me like that. She's giving me a bit of a tease. TFR, so they know I'm here. Kata goes in. Draven's still pretty healthy. Oh, this is bad. I can't move. <laughs> oh, God. I was CC'd for three seconds. We might have to buy QSS this game. Our comp is really good, but their comp's pretty good too. We don't really have an AD carry because we have a Kennen Blitz of bot lane and they both went AP, so. This game might actually go a little bit south. Big Kennen play. He went in without the team. If Kennen's not fed, he's a glorified support character because he doesn't have damage to kill anything, so he's just an AoE stun bot. Right. Just used up his resources. 
I got the QSS. Might be able to do something now. If I time it right. Draven way over commits. Oh my god! I, <laughs> I QSS the TF stun card so fast. The Thresh is just chunks me, man. Just boom. Thresh does about a third of my health like that. <laughs> 436. I need something to survive that. Maybe like a Bloodthirster? I don't know. Because the QSS is giving me some magic resist and TF and Thresh are doing mostly magic damage to me. I guess it is what it is. I'm gonna fight two people like that. Probably gonna die. <laughs> Thresh is, is no joke. Looks like my team's playing for Dragon right now. I gotta get over there. I believe the enemy team might be going for Baron. Trading Dragon for Baron isn't the worst thing in the world. It's better than just dying on Baron and them getting it anyways. And I think they're a bit stronger than us right now too. Until the Kennen actually gets some items, I think they're gonna keep winning team fights. Draven's like full build. Yeah, this is. Oh, that was a good blitz hook. The enemy team was slow to actually collapse. All right, I died. Lee Sin R'd me. Little surprised he still had R. That means TF must have hit Kato with a really good stun card. I've seen him pull a few stun cards where I don't know if it's luck or skill, but he'll tap it instantly and it's the. It's like the yellow card because it's random so when he first pulls it's rng it's on a timer like constantly like tf doesn't know if it's going to be a red blue or yellow when he initially pulls it and let's say it stays on each one for a full second right like one mississippi two mississippi three mississippi so one for each card he doesn't know when he pulls it even if it's a yellow card he doesn't know if it's going to be a yellow card for a full second or a third of a second or a tenth of a second or whatever right he doesn't know at which segment he just saw he's pulled it on so sometimes it's tricky because when you go to double tap it it's already gone and then you end up pulling a blue card so tf's kind of a weird chant where sometimes you gamble and you just double tap other times you want to uh just let it recycle so you don't end up pulling a blue Oh boy, maybe I should split, maybe. Only one who can kind of match me is Draven. Even then, if I land my blind, I think he loses. Ugh, they're all grouped here. Got him with my red smite. Uh, come on, Shen. Oh, this is not good. I am not giving the Penta. Sorry, guys. I'm not giving it. <clears throat> I actually want to win this game. Unlike my teammates who are very kind and gracious, I am not giving the Penta. <laughs> Eventually, we'll come back because Draven can only get so much gold, you know? If he's full build 24 minutes in, he can't get more items than that. Got him. Beautiful. I got to get out of here, Blitz. Please don't do that. Don't do it, Blitz. That's why you need the QSS. It's the only reason we were able to outplay them. Lee Sin went in off the TF stun card, thinking it was a good play. But since I QSS did instantly, I could outplay them. And I don't think Lee Sin had his R. I'm pretty sure Lee Sin blew his R in the last team fight. Like, Quinn's damage is actually nuts. Like, TF had three items, Lee Sin had two, and I killed both of them, right? I guess I have four, I have three and a half full items, so. But still. Yeah, my blind 
for forcing her to walk to me off the blind is so strong. I get off two or three autos for free. Plus the blind damage, nearly 500. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big deal. I still have my E as well. I was going to use it to cancel one of her autos. Just didn't need it in the end. Got the attack speed and move speed bonus off that. Don't know why Shen r for that. I guess he thought I got hooked. I was just poking. I was not all inning. I know I can't all in them like that because Thresh is just tanky. My QSS is down. I got to be a little bit safe here. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, Thresh Flash. Auto attack, E reset. Got the kill. That's big for us. Oh, Blitzcrank. Nice. That actually panned out. Down goes Kel. Oh, come on, come on, come on. I think we kill him, right? Oh, yeah, we're not going to be able to. There's no way. I got to heal off something. Ooh, I'm going to die. I, I, I missed out on the Penta, too, which is kind of sad. Just because <laughs> TF's a little turd. I guess it's uh, kind of what I deserve, right? Because I didn't give Draven the Penta. Yeah, he's going to suicide. Even if... Oh, okay, he's going to ROA. Even if our minions executed him, I think it still would have been good. Really good for us because of how long respawns are right now. I need a red buff. I have so much gold. I got four kills. Bunch of different shutdowns there. I got, I think I got a thousand shutdown off Draven. I think I Bloodthirster. Holy crap, we're going to be unstoppable. Love that 60% attack speed bonus. Okay, I'm glad it <laughs> I'm glad nothing happened there. I didn't get hooked. Good reaction time by the Thresh, I guess. They can't split top. What are they doing? They'll, they'll lose. We already have more space mid than they have top. Bait out the hook. I mean they can't leave too top, right? Oh my god, that Draven Axe. That hurt. They really they really do just have two people top. Team's got a back. Maybe I need a back. Shen got uh in the thing got insect. At least send Artem away from turret. Gonna get mulched down by Cal. Yeah, I can't really buy anything here. I love Celerity. It feels so strong on Quinn. There are. Ooh, hey TF. Went for the auto auto E. I couldn't reach him with autos anymore. Plus, I could use E as a reset and also CC him. Or if he flashed, I could still land it. Alright, where are they at? Probably hiding in a bush somewhere. We do have Dragon Advantage. We could play for Soul. The game's already getting getting kind of late and I don't like playing late game I think playing late game is a really risky in League of Legends once everyone's full build you're basically just playing an ARAM and you lose a lot of control oh that hurts we gotta go over here TF could RN we gotta make sure no one flanks us. If they have flank, the NFT FR is in. It's going to be really, really bad. That's what they're trying to do right now. Trying to get behind us. Level 17. I have a massive... Draven has an item advantage, but I have a level advantage on him. How funny is that? Come on, Blitz. Gotta drink some water. Oh, there's 
too many. Oh! Oh, get him, Shen! Say, don't let him kill me! Oh, no! Oh, yes! <laughs> Whoa! I missed my kill on Draven as he came out of GA. It didn't matter. Nice. Might be able to end off that. Big Shen R. Big Daddy Shen coming in for the win. I'm not sure if my QSS did anything that time. I did use it though. We're healing like crazy. It's very easy to kite them out with water walking. Getting 25 extra movement speed plus celerity. They're going to have a lot of issues trying to run me down like that. We also have 40% movement speed off W whenever we land our passive. They're going to lose double inhib off that. Likely going to lose dragon because of the map pressure now. I can speed up in a way. Is that a panic TP? Shen keeps thinking I'm caught out, but I'm not. I'm chilling, man. Oh, God. Yeah, it's GG's. Red Smart plus QSS, baby. Let's go. Hmm, very nice. All in all, Quinn Jungle, pretty good. Just as long as you can uh, three camp clear no later than three minute mark, like what I did, be full health, no refills. And uh, you have a pretty good chance of carrying. Her late game is actually really good as long as you have at least one tank on your team. If you guys enjoyed this Quinn Jungle commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damaged ult enemy champions, we had a nice juicy lead. Then looking at damage taken, we actually had one of the higher damage taken in the game. We were the uh, third highest behind the least sand. He's taken a lot. He's getting killed. For runes, our pressy attack did a whopping 3,000 bonus damage. Triumph healed us for nearly 3,000. Gave us over 700 bonus gold. Finished alacrity pre-12 minute. Quiddy did 1,300 damage. Celerity, it's hard to really quantify what this means. Water walking, we had it active for over 5 minutes. Quinn Jungle, a whole lot of fun.